Parashakti and she controls all the evil energy, all the demonic energy which are also her children and they are needed, we do need them. Without them there is no evolution. Them meaning the Asuri, the Dur Devadas, we need both of them. We need them to evolve us back to her and she is the mother of both. That is the reason why we respectfully take them out, the demonic energy, Durdevatas. We take them and let them go with respect. But we don't look back, we don't show them this, we don't show them with respect, so that they won't stay with us. But remember, without Asura, there are no Devas. Don't dislike them, but dismiss them, don't keep them. Who are they? Anger, ignorance, horror, jealousy. All the Kama, Krodha, Loba, Moha, Maha, Matarja. All the worst aspect of human emotion is them. And we do need them because without them we would not know them. Then we cannot evolve from them. It is a very meaningful concept. Don't neglect them, but don't keep them. But if we have them, we'll always have them. But dig different degree. The aim of mother is help us to overcome them and use them like Kartikeya, how he uses Sura Padma Taraga Sura, he used them as vehicle, not only get rid of them, use them as a very powerful vehicle. What a beautiful concept. And then they become part of you. So evil can be used for a good purpose. If you can, you are saved. If you cannot, then you are caught time after time after time. The evil always takes over. And mother helps us. We have Mahamaya. So in front of her, in front of her, doing what I am doing a home on, on a full moon day, and today is once in 530 years. This comes once in 530 years. We'll never see it again for the next 500 years. We will be back, but not in this form. We'll be in different form, but we will be back because she will invite us. So it's a very auspicious day on a new moon day. Invoke them, honor them and receive their good aspect, not the negative aspect. Because Mother has given us most wonderful uh, mantra, given to us especially. It's not usually used in other temples. The Mother wanted us to go, all the mantras we have here is given by mantra. We went to uh, uh, Tanju, the big temple in Tanju. There is a Varai and Pigahoma. She said, go there and invoke me with that mantra. And the priest is supposed to do it at 5.30 in the morning. Number one, temple won't be open at 5.30, so they won't open it. The mother said, you go there, they will open it for you. How? I don't know. But they did open it, but they won't use that mantra. It's too powerful mantra, so the priest won't use it. So I said, I'll use it. She taught me, I'll use it. That's how this mantra came. Very, very intense mantra. Om, Shreem, Reem, Kleem, Doom. All the Pijas are there. Every Pija is and close it. Om Shri Tri Kli Dhu. Jwala Jwala. The Jwala which comes out. The, everything is vibration. That's what she I come, I can reach you through vibration. Everything in the universe is vibrating. There's the only energy which is permanent, always present. The vibration of energy. Jwala Jwala. Surini meaning destroyer of the EO, the commander. So, Sarva Shatrum Samhara Samhara. Slay all of our enemies. Not just physical enemies, psychic enemies, all the other enemies, different plane of existence, the 14 Lokas, all the different level of existence, find them and slay them so they can't reach us. So forever we'll be cleansed, not just in one Loka, all the 14 Loka. We are in seventh Loka, I believe now. Uh, but we have other Lokas. But once we get her grace, get her grace, we we'll always. Uh, stay with us forever. So it's a wonderful mantra she gave us, wonderful day she chose and wonderful meaning. Jwala Jala Surini Ashti Ajamana She, you are our owner. Sarva Satrum Samhara Samhara Shema Labam Kuru Kuru. Kuru Kuru means grant me. That's what Kuru means. Grant me, grant me. Sarva Satrum Samhara Shema Labam Kuru Kuru. Tushta Graham. Because she knows every effect we have, life, through the planets. That is a fact. Every act we do is mediated through the planet. Sarvasatum samhara samhara shemalam kuru kuru dushtakraham. 
the graham is not drishta the aspect in us all the graha today six planet is in one house dhanu dhanu ras today all one house venus uh, magaram uh, and the kadagam is uh, mars, mars, mars 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 is correct so nicely placed each one of them on that day uh, we are here relation to other planets everything is relative and this day if we can do them we get a lot and choosing this day and inviting us we are greatly blessed it's not happens all the time if you want to wait till 100 530 years we will again otherwise you won't <coughs> but whatever she grant us we will stay with us forever so we are we are greatly blessed to be given the mantra on this day being in work and during the construction period it's more beneficial because she is expanding she is going to give us a most magnificent temple which you have ever seen that kind very very mystical type of a temple kundalini temple kundalini energy activity this energy activates kundalini very special temple so on this year participate <coughs> whatever you get, whichever way you can participate uh, if you can donate money donate money uh, become part of her because that is not going to be given again one more time this one year you do them and she will complete it she will always stay with us but we participating this is a chance so take advantage of it contribute whatever you can uh, show your love or reverence or affection then in return she gives you in fact one of the aspect she is coming is ichcha shakti sakhi amman how many of you have heard of sakhi amman sakhi amman not many people in india there is a famous temple it's actually ichcha shakti it became sakhi amman what she does she gives you ichcha for enlightenment the ichcha is for enlightenment mahakali will give you time start the time bhuvaneshwari start the space we actors this is space and time we are the actors but ichcha shakti is very important for uh, evolution for us to go to higher level of higher level of uh, uh, various different course we do need ichcha shakti and she gives you ichcha for evolution ichcha for enlightenment that is ichcha but with that comes everything else she gives you any ichcha you want but most importantly she wants you to have enlightenment because without that you would not benefit you may have lots of money and everything but without enlightenment without knowing who we are we are divine we are part of her what a great boon to know that and realize it she will show you she will make us divine that's all i can say that's the highest form thank you